Welcome back, everyone, to another episode in Planet Zoo, and we're taking a look at some of the blueprints on the Steam Workshop. Our first blueprint was made by a Manatep, and they called this the Medieval Food Shop. And let's go ahead and just take a quick look at this. What do we got in here? We have got a gulpy soda and a chef beef. The perfect starter facilities. Has everything that you would need. Okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look around here. Now, I'm sure that the paths are super easy to put in here. Yep. And take a look around back. Nice and clean on the back side. And let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And here is the blueprint at night. Very nice job. Very nice. I think these would be great little starter food stalls for your visitors. Our next piece was made by Saniora, and they call this the Bootoss. And this one is a shell where you could put all kinds of accommodations for your visitors. So we have all these little shell. You could put in all kinds of food stands all along here. You could put exhibits in here if you wanted. And then over here we have an exit going out the back and maybe you could put in some restrooms back here or even another. Oh look, this would be perfect for a little habitat back here. Perfect. Perfect. And all this beautiful detail with all the plants. Very nice job. Now it looks like we need to go ahead maybe and put in a little bit of water here. Yeah. Okay, go in down just a little too much. And go ahead and put in a little bit of water. Here we go. And let's go ahead and start the thing. You can see the water wheel moving. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And here is the booth hoss at night. Very nice piece. Thank you so much, Sonora, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Shifty, and Shifty calls this the Ward Hog Art. And you can build this for right around 6,000. Absolutely adorable. Look at how cute this is. What a great job, Shifty. I think this would be great in just about anyone's zoo. Our next piece was made by Yulio71. And this is called the Entrance to an Indian Zoo. And you can build this for right around 47,000. And this one comes with all kinds of things that you can do here. We've got a place for a cash machine, and we got a pip shop water in there. And we've got a gulpy soda, soda just a momento. A uh, hat fantastic, a Missy Goody Donuts, and a street coffee. And look at this in the middle. Look at how adorable this is. And I love the words that you've got down into the floor. Looks great. And what do we got back here? Okay, we got a hollow shell back here. You could put a restroom in there, or you could go ahead and put in an exhibit. Okay, we got restrooms over here. So maybe an exhibit over on that side. We got an information point. Okay, let's see what we've got over here. Oh, we've got more stuff in here. An info booth. This is where our information booth is. So we got an information booth in there. And what do we have back in here? Another set of restrooms. 
Wonderful, wonderful job, you Leo. So let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And here's our entrance to the Indian Zoo at in the evening. Beautiful piece. I love these centerpieces. Thank you so much, Julio, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece is called The Habitat from Fairy Tale World. And I also found it under the name of Fairy Flamingo Habitat. And this was made by Cloudberry. You can get this into your zoo for right around $24,000. Let's go ahead and take a look. It is adorable. Nice little walkthrough path you could put in here. Absolutely adorable. So cute. So cute. Love the um, exterior to the walls for the habitat itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And here is our fairy flamingo habitat at night. Great job. Great job. I could definitely see putting this inside of the zoo. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Thank you so much, Cloudberry, for posting in the Steam Workshop. Everybody needs to go check out this piece. Our next piece was made by Roman. And Roman calls this the Zemek Lesna Castle. And you can put this into your zoo for right around 140000 Now, there is no facilities or anything associated with this piece. However, you could convert it all into shops or even a staffing facility. Let's take a look all the way around it. Look at all this beautiful, beautiful detail work. What a beautiful piece. Very beautiful piece. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see what it's like inside. It's just basically hollow. But you guys could go ahead and uh, fix this all up and make all kinds of stuff going on in the interior. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And here is this piece at night. Very nice. Thank you so much, Roman, for posting on the Steam Workshop. What a beautiful piece. Our next piece was made by Romano, and Romano calls this the Crashed Bush Plain. And this is the jungle version. Look at how cute this is. How much fun would this be to have in your zoo? And look at, we've got cargo flying out the back. That tea, Indian teas. Very nice. What a fun piece, Romano. And let's go ahead and take a look at this at night. And here it is at night. What a cute, what an adorable piece. Thank you so much, Romano, for posting on the Steam Workshop. Our next pieces were all made by Sabrella. And we have three pieces here. We have the, the Dumbo Elephant over here, a balloon fountain decor, and we have a habitat, Nyla Up House. Look at all of this colorful, beautiful work by Sabrella. Oh, this Dumbo is so sweet. You do awesome work, Sabrella. 
And look at all this colorful fountain. Very nice, very nice. And let's go ahead and take a look at this up house. <laughs> look at it, it is so cute. Look at it as you look through the window, you can see the stairs. And let's go ahead and take a look up here at all these balloons. What wonderful pieces you do. All right, let's take a look at this at night. And here's our fountain all lit up. How beautiful that is. We do not have any lighting on the uh, Dumbo, but I think it's just fine the way it is. And here is this habitat. And our up house all lit up. Thank you so much, Sabrella, for posting on the Steam Workshop. I truly love your work. Our next two pieces were made by Survivor, and they have done two murals, one with the Simpsons, and you can put that in your zoo for right around 1,000, and another one for Super Mario, and you could put that in for right around 2,000. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at these. There they all are, all the Simpsons, visiting your zoo. And we got Super Mario over here. <laughs> so cute. All right, let's take a look at these pieces at night. And here are the two billboards all dressed up for night. Got lots of lighting over here on the Super Mario billboard. Thank you so much, Survivor, for posting on the Steam Workshop. They are so cute. Uh, we have two more pieces here made by a blood briar. And this first one is, is called a 4x4 adventure tour station. And you can put this into your zoo for right around 5,000. And let's just go ahead and take a quick look at it. Now your train track would, of course, go straight down through here. And it looks like we got an entrance. And we've got an exit out of the adventure tours. Very nice job, very nice job. Okay, our next piece that was also made by Blood Briar is right over here, and Blood Briar calls this a round primate habitat, and you can put this in for right around $53,000. Now, uh, this has got uh, entrances all around the whole area. You could put a path in right here, your uh, visitors would just walk around here and all your primates would be right out there in the middle. And look at how beautiful this is. I love the ceiling in here. Love the ceiling in here. And we already have education boards and speakers all set up for us. And our primates have their little nesting area up here at the top. Lots of nice climbing. Everything that they would need. Wonderful, wonderful piece. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these two pieces at night. All right, there is our African Adventure Tours all lit up at night. Beautiful. I love the, I love the colors that you chose to use for your lighting. And then over here we have our round primate habitat. Very nice. A beautiful job on both pieces. Thank you so much, Blood Briar, for sharing your work on the Steam Workshop. And our last piece was made by Hello Smith. 
and they call this the animal climbing frame. It was also called the rope dome and you can put this in for right around $1,000. Now let's just go ahead and take a look at it. I just thought it was very creatively built. Very nice job, hello Smith. Thank you so much for sharing that on the STEAM workshop. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode and taking a look at some of these builds all found on the STEAM workshop. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I um, also would love to hear some comments from you and also a like. And please go visit all of these little artists on the STEAM workshop. They do great work and they put a lot of time and effort into all of these pieces. We will see you all back next time. You take care.